Welcome to Engaging Young People Through Understanding Youth Cultures, part of the Pathways Transition Video Brief Series. Martin Rafferty, CEO of Youth Era, and Lacey Kendrick Burke Deshari, former Executive Director of Youth Move National, made the case in this Pathways Transition Training Video Brief for the importance of understanding youth culture in order to engage young people in mental health services. Martin and Lacey offer strategies for creating a youth-friendly environment and ideas for working with young people to uncover their potential and discover their views of the youth culture that informs their daily lives. I think understanding youth culture is one of the most important things that adults can do if you want to work with young people. Um, youth is a culture of itself and being able to connect with that in a way that is supportive of young people is really important. Um, and then also being able to see the potential in young people and believe in that and help them to see that as well. Sometimes young people don't know what they're capable of until somebody shows them and gives them an opportunity to see that for themselves and to apply that. Um, and so being able to see the potential in young people and help them to see it too is something that is life-changing for young people. If we can take one message to everyone who provides services to young adults, I would say that creating an environment that is, is made up of the young people's culture is so important. So when you're a therapist and you're meeting in a, in a doctor's office, it, it's going to have an end result that's a little bit different than you're, if you're a therapist and, and meeting in a park. Sometimes you can't change your setting that much, but you can hang up you know, the Youth Bill of Rights, talking about the rights that young people have. It, the very walls are, are speaking to the youth, telling them that who they are is respected and, and that this environment was created for them communicating that these services exist for them is one of the most important things that, that the young people seek and, and are trying to find. And when they do see that and when they do find it, uh, it's, a, it's a very powerful collaboration. Um, the youth respond better to services. And we're talking about small changes. We're talking about um, things that are, that are easy to do, uh, signs that are easy to hang up. Uh, draping some, some silk around, around a light, uh, trying to pull it away from the culture of the professional and putting a little bit of the culture of the youth. I think adults aren't always going to completely understand youth culture and that's okay, but I think being able to create space where there's an open dialogue to have with young people and be like, hey, what did you mean by that? You know, what is, what is YOLO? You know, what is, what are some of these terms that young people are using? And um, for young people to be able to explain and feel safe enough to explain some of that stuff to adults is really important. Um, sometimes young people who are the most outspoken, the most, um, the most impressive leaders are the young people who may have behavioral problems elsewhere. You know, they're speaking out. They're, they're leaders in their peer groups and we might not see it that way. And so being able to have young people utilize their strengths, even though we might not be able to, to see it that way, being able to provide those opportunities for young people to use those strengths and help polish those strengths is really important. I think, yeah, youth culture is really about understanding where young people are coming from and engaging in those conversations with young people. Um, Urban Dictionary is one place to go, take it with a grain of salt, um, to understand some of the language that young people are using. Sometimes they might be you know, texting their friend and you might think that they're just distracted, they're not paying attention, whatever, but sometimes it's that young person actually reaching out to their friend and saying, hey, I'm really, you know, this just happened, this is what I'm dealing with, and that friend might be providing support. So that's one thing to really try and understand with young people is that they do reach out and it's, it might look a little different and it might not be at the right, you know, what you think is the right time, but um, sometimes that's how they get their support is, is by texting in the middle of a meeting rather than 
um, having another heated discussion or a tiff or, you know. Discussion questions and resources on understanding youth cultures can be found through the link on this slide. A live link can be found on the YouTube channel description of this video brief. We'd like to acknowledge support from the National Institute of Disability, Independent Living, and Rehabilitation Research, and the Center for Mental Health Services, Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration.